Hurricane Katrina was a huge storm with a huge impact. In fact, from where I am on Dog River, the landfall was 90 miles away. But when it came in, it made the water level rise 11 feet in the storm surge. The home behind me took on three feet of water, and that's an elevated home. The day before landfall, the wind was the big concern with Katrina. But we quickly saw that water carries its own weight, and not just on the river. Among its many marks, Hurricane Katrina left a transportation nightmare. Bridges and ramps on Interstate 10 and U.S. Highway 90 were taken out by moving water. Not just damaged, destroyed. In these pictures I took of the Biloxi Bay Bridge after Katrina, you see dozens of bridge spans pushed into the water. What happened? I can show you, thanks to Dr. Brett Webb in the Civil Engineering Department of the University of South Alabama. Dr. Webb set up a demonstration in a wave pool to show how easily low bridge spans can be compromised by surging water. This is very technical. It's basically like turning the faucet on at your house to brush your teeth, except we get a lot more water out. First, you fill the basin with 3,700 gallons of water. That's more than what 60 bathtubs would hold. And then you turn on the waves. It's water moving with force. Dr. Webb explains. Because it is so dense, there's so much momentum behind it, the forces are really, really large. Mm -hmm. And so as the waves started hitting this very flat, relatively tall side of the bridge, it basically just started pushing it off the top of the pile caps or the bent beams. Now, as the water level rose, it actually gave a little bit of buoyancy to the deck. The decks of the Biloxi Bay Bridge weighed over 200 tons. So there's just enough buoyancy pushing up and the wave pushing to the side where it started to hop and skip across the top and just slide. The deck is done. And so that's all it takes, you know, just a little bit of wave action on top of a higher water level and it's generally just enough to knock the bridge deck off the top of the pile caps.